If you had a tongue like some nectar-feeding bats in the Andes, it would be nine feet long and attached to your breastbone, and would extend its full length when it was engorged in blood. How and why did these bats evolve such a long tongue, and what's the point? They had, along the course of evolution, to solve two problems. One is to feed on a particular kind of flower that has a very long neck, so they need that long tongue to get down all the way to the nectar. The other, they can't expend more energy in getting food than the amount of energy they're getting from the food. So the tongue has a maximized surface area. It looks a little bit like a long centipede with lots of appendages, and it works very well as a mop to sort of suck up a lot of the nectar and therefore get more energy each time it extends the tongue. <laughs>